All right, we're here at a Jandy JE3000T. Uh, it's not a heater that I'm extremely familiar with. So uh, I, we have solar here in this particular application where it goes all the way up to the uh, first floor and then about another 30 feet up onto the main house roof. And that was activating our heater so that it was counting down for us. Uh, even when the pump was off, we were getting this countdown mode. And I'm gonna shut it off so it doesn't kick back on. Um, but obviously these heaters uh, certainly should not be counting down when the pump is not running. It is running right now, but uh, for the sake of argument, uh, let's just say that when we had it off, it was also counting down. And I looked into the manual and the manual said that uh, you remove the service panel, which is that guy right there, okay, the front of the heater. Okay, you've got your in and your out. And it says, as you look in on the lower left, you'll find the pressure switch. Well, that wasn't necessarily true. That's, that's the pressure switch right there. And that there was a thumb wheel that you could adjust. And there's your thumb wheel. All right, and then I said, okay, well, you can adjust it. And uh, I tried like crazy to move it clockwise or counterclockwise and couldn't get it to move. There's a button at the very top that you can depress and once you've depressed that button you can move this thumb wheel back and forth. And so from the back end its idea of clockwise uh, it's actually counterclockwise from this vantage point. Looking at it from the wires to the thumb wheel you're gonna turn it counterclockwise to back the pressure switch off so that when the pump is off which we're gonna do right now the heat pump should stop counting down alright well this is good I'll show you how to do this it's still counting down even with the pressure switch or with the uh, pool pump off and what that's telling us is that there's a lot of pressure in these lines right here that are pushing down on the pressure switch and activating it. So we're gonna come back here, I'm gonna take that pinwheel, okay, and that button on the top has already been depressed and I'm gonna rotate it. Until I hear the very slightest click, which I just heard. And you come up here and you look and it now says no flow. Okay. So again, from the vantage point of coming into the switch from behind, you're not turning it clockwise. You're going to be turning it counterclockwise. And I'm going to turn it just a little bit more to be on the safe side because otherwise late at the night, late in the night when this pump turns off, this heat pump continues to try to cycle itself on and off and on and off, which is obviously not good for the, uh, for the pool pump, or for the uh, heat pump. So if I turn the system back on, okay, we will then see that it goes back into its countdown mode. Okay, and just double checking it, Shutting it down, <laughs> will it or won't it be counting down? Ha! All right, no flow, we love that. Okay, we're gonna do it a couple more times to make sure that it maintains the uh, proper deal. And uh, anyway, I am not an expert on Jandy heaters, but I learned something new tonight and thought I'd share it with uh, you guys. Aloha.